What's up, kids? I'm here in Libertyville for our next lesson. So far, we've been in the baseball graveyard, we've been in the woods, we explored a cemetery. Now we're gonna use Libertyville, my hometown, to review why people move. So come on along, I'm gonna give you a little tour. Yeah, I used to, used to cut down this tree right here. I would leave church early on Sunday because I had this job at a bakery. I had to get there pretty early because it was his busiest day. So I got up early, I went to 7.30 mass. I started cutting through the neighborhood. It was still early on Sunday too, so I could smell the families cooking breakfast, like bacon, pancakes and stuff. I still remember that. Yeah, I wouldn't go in the front because I had to sneak in because the place was packed. He didn't want any of the workers coming in the front. So I'd sneak in the back door, slip an apron on. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, here's back here. This is where I would come in. I would, the, the entrance is still there. It's a different business, but I would sneak in here and just start washing dishes. It was a bakery. It was owned by this family, the Bernhardt family. They came to Libertyville, set up a very successful business. He bought property, but there's a lot of people that, that came before him. Man, this is bring back memories. I can still smell the fresh bread. Yeah, kids, that bakery that I worked at as a kid uh, was run by the Bernhardt family. The father was Eugene Bernhardt. He ran the business, he gave me the job. But they're not the only family that moved to Libertyville. He came here to set up his business, beautiful neighborhoods, a lot of open space, and he did very well for himself. He even owned property and apartment buildings, but he's not the only one. All you gotta do is go to the local cemetery and you'll find a lot of famous people that came to Libertyville. You wanna go check it out? Let's go. Take this guy for example, Horace Butler. He was one of the first attorneys, one of the first lawyers to work in Libertyville. He brought his family here and they did very well for themselves. He was so famous. They named this whole lake after him. Butler Lake! The Proctor family. This was a very famous family in early Libertyville, known for all the businesses they opened. They were so famous, they named the whole block after it! And you have this family, the Appleys, some of Libertyville's first farmers. This family was so famous and contributed so much to the history of Libertyville, they named an entire street after them. Just like right here, kids, Appley Avenue, named after the Appley family, one of the oldest streets in Libertyville. But wait, let's go learn about one more famous person in Libertyville. Yeah, kids, one of the most famous people in Libertyville actually isn't buried in Lakeside Cemetery, Ansel B. Cook. He moved here actually when he retired. He loved the beautiful community, the open space. He became so famous in Libertyville, they named a library after him, the original high school, and this whole park in front of me. You know, kids, the Proctors, the Appleys, the Butlers, even the Bernhards, they came to Libertyville for all the same reason. New opportunities, open space, great neighborhoods, starting a business. But you know what? Libertyville wasn't always this way. It was like this! Yep, a big open pasture like this. The people that came out here first were farmers. Not only did they find good soil in Libertyville, they actually found some of the best soil in the entire world. And before you knew it, barns like this, they started popping up all over the countryside. Farmers built these as they came out to Libertyville, actually to start a whole brand new life. They actually tried to get out of Chicago. All the crime, the pollution, the overcrowded. They came here for new opportunities. And after the farmers, then the businesses came. This building here used to be one of the largest employers in Libertyville. They, they made macaroni in here, believe it or not. And after all the businesses settled in, like Mr. Bernhard and all the older shops and shopkeepers, the community started to thrive and the neighborhoods became beautiful. Then came the bankers, kids. Right here, you know, it's a Starbucks. This was actually the location of one of the first banks in Libertyville. First National Bank. Actually, look up there. That's the original burglar alarm. So after the bankers, then the religious people started coming to Libertyville. And churches like this sprouted up everywhere in Libertyville. The people of Libertyville, they brought the religions with them. And this church on this corner, busy place on any given Sunday. And you know, we can't forget about the schools either. St. Joe's School, the school I attended as a kid, 
It's actually one of the oldest buildings in Libertyville. And schools like this were constructed all over the town. And what it really did was add to the sense of community that Libertyville has had for hundreds of years. This street here, these houses, doesn't look much different than 150 years ago. All right, kids, I hope my little tour of Libertyville helped us review all the reasons why people move. All the folks we mentioned in the movie, Mr. Bernhardt, uh, Ansel B. Cook, you know what, even my own family, we moved to Libertyville for the same reasons. Open space, good schools, opportunities. But if this movie sparks your interest and you wanna do a little research on your own, I'll give you a little tip. Start in your local cemetery.